Hello and welcome to my video comparison of Writer versus Word Hero. So you know exactly why you're here. You want to make sure you can pick the best possible choice for you in your online business when it comes to creating content, copywriting, and so on and so forth. Let's get started. So here we have Word Hero first. They are going to be a very easy platform to use when it comes to not only their templates, but also using their editor, which I'm going to show you as well. As you can see, they have a wide variety of templates that you can use. In fact, there's around 64 of them, if my math is correct. And what I'm going to do is actually compare using very similar templates with Word Hero to Writer. So what I did is open this up in a new window here. You're going to see we have our video descriptions. So if you're creating a YouTube video, this is what's going to be going in the bottom for this entire video I'm going to use this uh, headline or just title right here anytime you want to use a template you just have to add in the description sometimes there's going to be a title but if you know how to use one of their templates you're going to know how to use all of them it's a very easy process so now that we have our short description I'm going to click on write for me and let's see what we get all right, so here we go. If you're considering adding a furry friend to your family, a cat may be the perfect pet for you. Cats are independent and enjoy spending time alone, but they also love to cuddle. They're low maintenance and can be litter box trained in no time. And best of all, cats have been shown to have many health benefits, including reducing stress levels and improving cardiovascular health. That was very good. That was great. If you're considering getting a pet, a cat is a great option. They're independent and low maintenance, and they offer plenty of love and companionship. Watch this video to learn about the many great benefits of having a cat as your pet. Pretty good as well. I like those. This one's a little longer. And if you want to use it, all you need to do is click on it to copy it and you can paste it. Or if you want both of them, there's a button for it. Great thing about Word Hero is that they do offer unlimited content. So if you didn't like them, you just click on write for me again and just, you know, see what it produces. Let's go on over to writer now. They have a very simpler template, which they call a use case as a video description. And speaking of their templates, as you can see, and I scroll through here, they have around 30 of them. So quite a few less if you're keeping track of that, but it works the same way once you choose the use case or template you put in the title slash description here you can choose the number of results you want and of course the creativity level and we can roll with that so once again i'm using the same exact thing here the many great benefits of having a cat as your pet let's write for me all right so your furry feline friend is a loyal companion who will always be there for you unconditionally Watch this video to see just how great it is to have a cat as your pet or find out the many benefits of living with these playful creatures. Great. That is spot on. I'm always looking for relevance when it comes to talking about a video title or just any of these templates, obviously. Like if we're talking about cats, if it starts talking about pets that are dogs or lizards or bearded dragons, we're going in the wrong direction, okay? We'll talk about how cats are low maintenance, don't need a lot of attention, and don't require a lot of work. We'll also talk about how they're ideal for those who live in apartments or homes without yards, can be left at home all day, and are relatively inexpensive to take care of. So this one goes more into detail about what's going to be going on in the video. And this is can be, I guess you could say a pro or con. This can be really good if you're looking to do a video and you need ideas. If you throw this in there and it brings this up, you're going to see that there's a lot of great benefits and details in that. And that's something both of these can do because obviously we give it this right here. It doesn't know exactly what the benefits are. Are, so many times it's going to obviously guess and throw some in there. So that's a cool thing. Obviously, it's not going to be 100% on point if you're talking about the benefits being health related. But if that was the case, you just simply put it in the video title. Overall, a good showing when it comes to the descriptions. Now let's compare the editors when it comes to writing the longer form content, starting with Word Hero. All right, so I do want to say that Word Hero is going to take the cake when it comes to being easier to use. Uh, what I love about it is that there's literally three buttons that you need to focus on. They do have their own editor section, which I like, which is different from the template editor. Writer is going to be slightly different, and I'll show you when we get to that. So once you have a title right here, which is going to be the same thing I used in the previous instances, we have the ability to create a blog outline. We have the ability to write blog paragraphs, and of course, we have the ability to write more. So if you have something and you want to write more, more, what it can do is just add on to it. Given the fact we have a title, let's click on the blog outline button and see what we get. Okay, so very cool. This came up with a very nice outline we can use talking about the introduction, the low maintenance, and it has a little bit more. They're clean, they're independent. So all you need to do if you want to write more based upon this is that we can highlight this. And all we need to do is click on the paragraph button and let's see what it writes. All right, so here we go. What I also like doing anytime you write something, you can also just hit return there and you can make this your H2. Obviously, you're going to want to word that around a little bit differently, but just kind of showing you how that works. It says, in the wild, cats groom themselves to remove all traces of blood, dirt, and other debris that could give away their location to predators. Domestic cats have the same 
instinctual need to clean themselves. What do we have here? And do not require baths. That's uh, grammarly, just so you know, that's something separate. While it is true that some cats may get dirty or greasy from time to time, a quick wipe down with a damp cloth is usually all that is necessary. Bathing a cat can be actually be harmful as it can strip away essential oils from their skin and fur. Sure, dirt and other debris. And keep in mind that Grammarly is something that's separate. I use that for all my writing, regardless of where I am. But it's cool to have that, like, you know, the hyphen or the comma. Very minor things. But overall, this is a great paragraph generated. It's obviously directly related to them not needing bats. You know, if you wanted to write more, there is the ability to highlight everything. And that's where you're going to go to the write more section. However, usually what you can do is just go through in each section here. For So if they're good for your health, you go here and you generate a new paragraph. You go here and you generate a new paragraph. You can do the same thing. Or if you want to be creative, you can use these on the side to further add to it. For example, if I want to go with the let's see, blog conclusion, I can go here. I can copy that or I can just copy this, but I want to put this one here in conclusion. And let's do right for me. All right. So in conclusion, they're excellent pets, many great benefits, low maintenance, loving. If you're considering it, it could be the perfect breed. Uh, this has a similar beginning, but it changes off, which is fine. If we want to use one of these, we can copy this. And of course, we have our conclusion right there. And I think you get the idea when it comes to this. Uh, deeper into the description, I will have a review where I do a little bit more where you can actually see me go through. Uh, there's plenty of other videos when it comes to that, but I want to show you how Writer works. It works in a very similar manner, which is kind of funny. The only thing I would like that it would improve if it had like its own separate editor, kind of like Word Hero does. Rather, instead, you can use the use cases, starting with the blog idea and outline. Uh, once again, I have these same phrases here. What I'm going to do is create one variant and let's see what we get and I'll talk about the writing process. All right, and just like that, we have something very similar. So we have the benefits of a cat owner. We have some keywords, the pros and cons of owning a cat, how to keep your cat happy at home, the best foods to feed your cat, and how to house train a cat and make them feel at home in their new place. Uh, here's a great thing about this. This pretty much will give you everything you need to know. It says tip. To write SEO-friendly long-form content, select each section heading along with keywords and use the paragraph option from the ribbon. More descriptive the headings with keywords, the better. So this is almost going to be identical to what we're doing with Word Hero, which I found this a very interesting comparison because these two are about as close as possible, which you'll see. So if we want to do how to keep your cat happy at home, we can highlight the headline and the keywords. And all we need to do is click on the paragraph button right here. Let's see what we get. All right, so here we go. Caring for your new pet is not as easy as it seems. You have to make sure that you are providing them with everything that you need to be happy. This article will provide you with a few tips on how to keep your cat happy at home. So cats love catnip. Uh, make sure you're buying them toys so they can play with them. If you want to keep your cat off the counters, then put your food up high and so on and so forth. So that's an example of how you actually go about writing with writer when it comes to their editor. So what you can also do, there's going to be more flexibility uh, depending on how much you highlight. So if you highlight too much, you can't use all of these. But if you go a little bit shorter, what you can do is you can use improve where it says correct grammar, improve the readability. You can do rephrase, which obviously rephrases it. Paragraph is going to be able to write more or just continue writing based upon where you are. So as you can see, a lot of these outputs or inputs are going to be very similar to Word Hero has to offer. And once you kind of get your outline done, it works in the same exact way as Word Hero, which is pretty funny. Highlight what you want to write more about. And then, of course, write more, create a new paragraph and continue the process. So that, in a nutshell, are some of the bigger features. Obviously, there's a lot of templates with each. I gave you just one example. I know that's not a lot, but it allows you to see how it works. And of course, when it comes to writing longer form content, I think you get the idea. So let's talk about the pricing and, of course, which one might be best for you based upon you know what they have to offer. So first and foremost, we're looking at $49 per month. A very big perk when it comes to Word Hero is that you get to generate unlimited content. You get their long form editor. And also at the time of creating this video, they currently have a very special deal. I don't want to talk about all the details because I know at the time of creating this, it's not going to last much longer. And I don't want to add any confusion in case when that finishes. So I will put a link down below to Word Hero in case you want to check that out because you can get much better pricing. On the other hand, we have Writer and they are a very solid plan when 
it comes to being price friendly. A very big difference when it comes to writer versus Word Hero is the fact that they offer a free plan. Word Hero doesn't have a free plan or free trial, so you just have to purchase it and go from there. So they do have the ability to test it out. However, their free plan, even though it kind of regenerates every month, you only get 5,000 characters and that is very limited. It's enough to help you, you know, make sure it's going to be perfect for you. But obviously the value is going to be in at least Saver or the Unlimited plan where you can generate unlimited characters and you're looking at $29 per month. So when it comes to Writer and Word Hero, as we saw, they have a great ease of use. These aren't difficult softwares to use. It's pretty much kind of what you see is what you get. It's more about highlighting a lot of aspects that you want to write. And then of course, writing on from there. From there, you can change them around. You can edit them. If you don't like it, you can write it again. And that's going to be a great perk if you're getting unlimited characters, whether you're using Writer or of course, Word Hero. Aside from that, I would say that they both have good slash great quality, which you can see in this video. It might not be the highest quality in the world, which I've said a couple times before, but I certainly believe it's going to get the job done for you. This isn't any type of, you know, where it creates something and goes off the rails completely. A lot of it is completely relevant to what you're writing. It also depends on how you pilot these softwares. Remember, a lot of times, the more descriptive you are, the better content you're going to get. If you're very broad with what you enter into any type of AI copywriting tool, whether it be writer, word hero, anything else, you're not going to get as great of quality because it's not going to be as descriptive and AI can only produce what you give it, which is something to keep in mind. Last but not least, what is also both great about these is that they have solid pricing plans. Whether you're going to be using the unlimited plan for writer, which is $29 per month, or you're going with Word Hero on a special deal, you're going to get overall a great deal and a price-friendly option for both of these. So when it comes to each of these, which one should you use based on preference? I've talked about both of these and how they are oh so similar. So let's look at the differences when it comes to which one you should use. Starting off with Word Hero, I think you'd want to use them if you're looking for that long-term great deal. Like I talked about, it's not going to be around forever, but when you can get a solid price on a software, that's always a big benefit. You'd want to use also Word Hero if it's just you're looking for a slightly easier to navigate. Like I said, it's not a huge deal that Writer doesn't have their own like separate editor. I just love the fact that Word Hero has that where if you want to go to your long-form editor, there's a button for it. You're right there and you're good to go. Rather, instead, compared to Writer, where you kind of got to go to a use case, go from there. And then of course you get it right here, a very minor detail, which is a huge difference, but it's just something in my opinion, Word Hero has been a very easy software to use and figure out even if you're a technophobe and that's always a good thing. Last but not least, probably go with Word Hero if you want more templates. As I talked about, Word Hero has around 64 of them, give or take, and Writer has around 30. So you're getting more bang for your buck when it comes to a lot of the templates that you can use for various aspects of your marketing and, of course, content writing. Then on the other hand, it's going to be Writer. If you want something that comes with any type of free plan or free trial type of thing, Writer is going to be a great option for you. Like I said, they do come with a free plan. It does refresh every month, but it is kind of limited when it comes to 5,000 characters per month. That's not words, that's characters. So use them up pretty quickly, but it is a great way to get a good idea of what they have to offer. Last but not least, if you were looking for an option that is very price friendly when it comes to a monthly plan, Writer is going to be a great option. $29 per month for an unlimited amount of characters or words is a pretty solid deal, especially when you compare to any other prices that are currently being offered for AI content generating tools. I will have the links down below for each of those. Make sure if you're interested in them to at least check them out. Like I said, especially with Word Hero, that deal isn't going to be lasting forever. And it's always good to save some money and get a great deal on a software, especially if you're planning on using it for the long term. So that's about it when it comes to the battle of writer versus word hero. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope this helps you make the best decision for you and your business.